Good morning, everybody. It is terrific. I'm thinking. <laughs> That's my camera. <laughs> it looks so weird today. It's almost like the cameras have been out drinking all night. I don't know what's going on. But <laughs> it's funny. Maybe oh, not the camera. It's got to be a terrific Thursday. It's got to be a terrific Thursday because I have two beautiful ladies with me, and they wore my favorite color. They got the memo that Sherry loves pink and black so welcome we used to call people at the hospital pink ladies is that out of the scene now girls no no good we even still refer to ourselves as pink ladies good deal miss shirley <laughs> that is awesome and miss susan you wore my favorite color yes awesome and i wore the color that they say takes 10 pounds off so. <laughs> Whatever, whatever you got to do. It works. <laughs> it right. works, it works. Um, it's been an exciting time in Fannin County and Gilmer County and Pickens County, Cherokee County. We are growing. We mm -hmm. are adjusting to the growth. I, I always tell people we're preserving the past and embracing the future. Are y'all seeing that at Fannin Regional? Yes, definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, New people coming in? Yes. Yes, we have. It's so interesting to talk to the inpatients and I, I go in, into the ER how long they've been here where mm -hmm. they're from and how and in the world did you land in yes. Fannin County we <laughs> exactly. usually ask that, yes. that yeah, question yeah. what brought you here yeah but, and what do people usually tell you well uh, some say they were just driving through it's beautiful they were looking for a place to move to and and they love it here I was talking to a gentleman last week in the surgical waiting area and he says I got, he'd been into a grocery store and got in, some of his friends were visiting and he said, darn, they make me mad. These people are so nice. He <laughs> said, I'm just not used to it. <laughs> and so, How funny is that? And I hear that quite a bit. It's crazy. It's quite crazy. a bit, yes. Yeah. And, and when yeah. I, I visit inpatients, uh, they're, they just shout out about how great the nurses are all the mm -hmm. staff that they said you know in larger hospitals they would not find right. find that one lady got so emotional about it she was in tears she'd come through the er she had to have emergency surgery and i'd gone to see her and and uh, she was getting ready to go home and uh, she's telling me about her husband being in a large city hospital and said it was very difficult the mm -hmm. nurses she mm -hmm. had to stand at the nurse's desk for about five minutes before they even acknowledged she was there asked for water oh my gosh. Uh, but and she said look at me i'm crying and and i said well only if they're good tears and she <laughs> said they are yeah, you know they yeah. they appreciate the compassionate care that they receive from our our staff mm -hmm, they're all mm -hmm. just outstanding yeah yeah and and that is so strange but mm -hmm. i've heard it over and over and over now for about 17 years we've been talking about the area we've been talking about mm -hmm. our local banks our local hospitals our local businesses and there's always something positive that yes. comes from what we're doing here today because somebody mm -hmm. watching today will have just moved to the area and mm -hmm. not know that we do have a full-fledged hospital in Correct. Fannin County. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when we have Pickens County too, we have Piedmont. So, you know, there are real hospitals in our yes. area. We're yes. not just in the mountains. We have real hospitals. Yes, we do so, have yeah. A, yeah. an excellent hospital. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they come and then they find out how great our hospital, our staff mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And would you want to drive into the city? No. Or take mm -hmm. care of business at home? Take yeah. care of take business. Take care of business at home. <laughs> and as our population gets older, we hear that more often. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. don't want to drive out of town for things that can be done right. local. Well, I have two friends who love the Fox Theater as much as I do. And we've been mm -hmm. conversating lately. And I said, well, the last time I went, went to see Wicked at the Fox probably 14, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Asked me the last time I went down there, I was forced to get in a Lincoln Town car with a, a business associate to go to Albany, Georgia. He didn't force me, but he said, we're going. And I said, okay. <laughs> and all the way down there, I was so stressed because we mm -hmm. went through Atlanta. <laughs> you know, yes. I grew up in and Atlanta, y'all. <laughs> I grew up in Atlanta. Atlanta's not what Atlanta oh used to be. Oh my gosh. So. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. so the idea, and I tell everybody, my happy spot, if I travel, if I go away, when I come back into Cherokee County and I hit that place at Northside Hospital where you see the mountains, mm -hmm. once you see that mountain view, whoo, 
You uh, just yes. relax uh, and you yes. calm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that way we understand why people want to move to our communities. Yeah. And their blood pressure will come down yes. if they move here. Yeah. I'm not a doctor, but I'm giving a <laughs> diagnosis. If you leave Atlanta and you come up here, I promise you your blood pressure mm -hmm. will come down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We understand yeah. why. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. Now, y'all brought some goodies, and you know, I love pink and black, but I also love red and mm -hmm. black, mm -hmm. and I think that I might need this scarf. I really okay. kind of like that, well. so I think I might need that. And there's a little heart purse and little heart earrings because we are approaching Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. And if you want to buy a little something for your sweetie, I see. Mm -hmm. What about that heart? Yes, this That's heart so necklace. Cute. That is so uh, yeah, cute. Yeah. We, and we what's just, the price of that, Susan? This is uh, fifteen dollars, and it has earrings. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Now, tell me, what happens with the money that's raised at the gift shop at the hospital? Charlie, you want to? Uh, <laughs> many, many things. Well, we have a few expenses in the mm -hmm. organization. Of course, we got to, you know to buy office supplies or mm -hmm. a new adding machine or something mm -hmm. but most of it either goes into our scholarships which mm -hmm. is one of our biggest projects mm -hmm. um, or it goes toward and I'll show this little project mm -hmm. we have these little bears in and this the giraffe we call them better bears and friends mm -hmm. we also have a bunny so mm -hmm. bear has several friends so the the materials for this the mm -hmm. stuffing and stuff mm -hmm. but most of the money goes into the scholarships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even and these these things you were telling me you share these with children that yes. are in the hospital yeah mm -hmm. we have this is a gift to the yes. child yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, like in the er we have uh, we keep them supplied with the, the bear and giraffe when mm -hmm. you know and especially young children they're traumatized having right. to come into a strange place especially the ER right. are they they're in for blood work having uh, some uh, and you're promising if you take that needle <laughs> I'm gonna give you something and the kids going ah! Just like me. Can I well, get money back? <laughs> yes. If, if you can't cry or scream, I will. I will do both. Or, or, or about it. Right. I will do both. Um, <clears throat> the, over the years, the auxiliaries purchased a lot of special equipment mm -hmm. that didn't fit into the budget. Mm -hmm. um, Things like the blanket warmers, mm -hmm. the greatest mm -hmm. creation. I, I'm Earth. telling you, yeah. I had some major, major <laughs> surgery, and my favorite thing about the whole trip was a warm blanket. Yes. Holy cow, that is uh -huh. like awesome. That just, mm -hmm. it's like, Makes it, you it, oh yeah, feel yeah, I'm going to live through this. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I'm warm now, yeah. And, um, and also, we've bought several special wheelchairs, mm -hmm. one for the ER that is easy to get a patient in and out of the car mm -hmm. and uh and one for the mri that mm -hmm. isn't magnetic mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it doesn't disappear wow. into wow. that yeah so um really thousands of dollars over the years have have gone into this now we have to give honor and memory to so many ladies who've come and gone oh mm -hmm. yes so many ladies have come and gone and there was one lady who was your oldest participant mm -hmm. for how many years? How long was Miss Sarah? Actually, mm -hmm. she wasn't a charter member. I think she was a member for about 18, 20 years. But, but she, she was, was the oldest and the most dedicated. Yes. And, and passed away at what age? 96. Still mm -hmm. active at yes. 96. Yes. That is what is so mm -hmm. cool and inspiring. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is really, really cool. Don't sit down and give up. Exactly. Get out, speak to people, visit with people, volunteer at your local hospital, mm -hmm. and make a difference in somebody's life. Which gives me an opportunity yes. to talk about recruiting volunteers. Exactly. Um, we are recruiting new members. We, we need some new members. For one thing, we need some new blood. Mm -hmm. But we also lost a few during the COVID years. Mm -hmm. Uh, a few that, well, let's face it, we all got older during COVID. Yes, Even though we just blocked those two or three <laughs> years out. We did. We did, we did. get older. 
Um, so we are looking for new members. Mm -hmm. uh, people who would commit to one day a week mm -hmm. and anywhere from two hours to six hours, whatever right. fits that person's mm -hmm. schedule and needs. And we, we do need folks that are in the area most of the year. You know who I'm thinking would be a great volunteer? She's going to slap me when I see her. Who? I think Joyce Goss would be amazing because she was out in the public for mm -hmm. so long and people really, really loved her. And I'll bet you she's not a volunteer. She is not. But no, I bet I you we ought to round her up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think you might have just I done think that. I just <laughs> nailed her. I, yes. I've nailed her down. But but you think about people <clears throat> who were used to being in the public and they oh, retire. Right. Mm -hmm. It is hard it to is just hard. be sitting there. Because mm -hmm. you're like, huh, I miss the office chats. I wish this, I miss this. She chatted with 200 people a yeah. day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just that interaction with yeah. people mm -hmm. means yeah. a whole lot. And sure it does. So, Yeah. Now, these goodies are all, my scarf that I want is $9.50. And then these little earrings, cute as they can be, $5. So there you go. There's $5 for something for Valentine's Day. And then, of course, the bracelet. <coughs> and we might add, this is the color of the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, we might add that. So it is color. And, and isn't that sweet? How cute is mm -hmm. that? That is just so yes. sweet. So sweet. So sweet. Now, talk about your cafeteria and lunches. Do y'all, are y'all involved in any of that? Do, just, people, do, do people in the community still come there and eat lunch? Uh, well, there's, COVID. yeah, COVID, okay. you know, we had to. to We're going to say this down. right now. Hate COVID, hate COVID, hate, hate COVID, COVID, hate COVID, mm -hmm. hate COVID. Changed our life. Don't like what it did to us. So has that. Well, now uh, people that are with their family that's having surgery or something, they can go in and carry it out. We've not opened the cafeteria okay. back up, but yes, they're they're welcome to come in, go through the line. The the food is still excellent yes, like it has always, always been. Has been. Yes. 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 And uh, you know, patients like this food is great. I'm you know can't really. believe this is a hospital. <laughs> That's exactly what they say. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. So they they enjoy it, which is yeah. a very positive thing. Mm -hmm, but yeah, mm -hmm. people still love the hospital food. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Well, we're going to talk about our community um, from Ball Ground to Turtle Town. We're going to go to a commercial break. And if you pay attention to our commercials, you will see local businesses. Please support our local businesses. Mm -hmm. This community is about local businesses, local shopping, local living, and staying within, I call it a comfort zone. Everybody makes fun of me because 20 miles below Canton and I get hey. shaky. <laughs> I'm just like, and I'm a city slicker. I was a city slicker. Oh, no. Not anymore, but pay attention to our commercials, and then we're going to take you to a little bit of music by somebody that y'all love, and I can tell you, he'll be back for long. He is doing some studio work, and um, eh, Smoky Mountain Memories is one of those songs that I'm not sure he likes it, but everybody else does, and everybody loves it, so I can't wait for y'all to get to hear that. Here we go. You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. ETC TV3 is proud to present Georgia House District 7 runoff election coverage with updates every half hour starting at 7 p.m. on January 31st on Channel 3 and 403.
Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Okay, it was on this day in 1943 that my daddy left here to go to World War II. My uncle Emmett, his brother, walked with him from Pumpkin Center all the way downtown to watch him get on that train over at the depot and leave here for war. Emmett said he was scared to death he'd never come back home. Emmett said it was raining that evening and he said he cried when daddy left out on the train. And then later on after that, I wrote a little song about it. It's called Baby Blue. I'm looking down from a hilltop at the lights of my hometown. This place is all so different now, and they closed the pool room down. That old wooden bridge I fished from is replaced with man-made stone. The swimming pool and our old school, like you, they both are gone. I keep thinking about the summer of 1969. Long ago and far away, when I thought you were mine. Thick or thin, so much has changed since then. My crazy heart spins round and round when I dream of way back when. When the rock and roll were playing that old silver Chevrolet. But it's all over now, baby blue. Now the river flows so gently from the mountains to the sea. And the track that took my dad to war in 1943 still stretches by like so many years before But like you, the train's on a different track It don't come here no more And the rock and roll would play That old silver Chevrolet And a and was all we 
Terrific Thursday, and we're going to have a fun day because we got the hot pink ladies here. <laughs> they're hot and they're pink. <laughs> now, you and I were together Friday night uh -huh. at Burra Burra, and we had a really, really good night. We had a lot of laughs, and I yes. made some jokes about bleach blondes because all my friends seem to be bleach blondes. <laughs> and we had some pictures made, <clears throat> and we hung out, and we laughed, and it just feels good. It, it feels good. And one of the things about being a volunteer and seeing things happen around you, you have laughter in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, and it is so very, very important. It's so important. And people, when they come into the hospital, when the pink ladies were not able to come because of COVID, then when we uh, let them come back, it was like, oh, the pink ladies are back. Yes, They're just yes. uh, a bright, uh, shining star. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's really our purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always say if I, if I made one person feel better, mm -hmm. patient, visitor, employee, mm -hmm. Susan, I love you know, just yeah. anyone, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. if I made one person feel better, then I'm, mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with my day. I think the three of us could do stand-up comedy because I could be the ditzy one and you could be the intelligent one. <laughs> And you could be the mm, Rose hey. Island that might have been the loose one. <laughs> we just need one. <laughs> we just need one for old lady and we got it made. <laughs> we could be getting any volunteers for old ladies. We just need one more old lady. I've been accused of being part of the Golden Girl. Yes. I love it. Isn't it wonderful that as we age, we're not ending our life. We're not stopping living. We're not. We're having fun. We're having yes. fun. And being a pink lady <coughs> and making a difference is mm -hmm. part of that. Now, tell people how they would volunteer and how do they get in touch with y'all. Okay. Uh, they could call me at the hospital. I'm the director of volunteers, 706-632-4143. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an application that they would need to complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you've just gotten out of prison for murder. Mm -hmm. We are not looking for you to be a volunteer. No, but there, there is a background check. <laughs> <laughs> background check. If you're contemplating murder, <laughs> Don't. we're going to read your mind. Exactly. And then a drug test. There's some mm -hmm. uh, uh, advanced learning classes that they have to complete just mm -hmm. to be aware of like a hip, uh, what they uh, are can allowed. can't do. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So. That, that is, that's really changed all our lives, hasn't it? Because used to, we could pick up the phone and call and because I knew everybody in Pickens mm -hmm. County, pick up the phone and call and said, I need to know, I can't because of HIPAA. And I said, you know it's me. Yes. I can't because can't. of HIPAA. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. But it did change our lives. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Definitely. Well, yeah. and, and the whole issue of drug testing mm -hmm. and background mm -hmm. checks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, necessary now. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. So... Yep, part of it. It's That's changed. Part of it. That's part of it. But we're considered part of the workforce mm -hmm. at the hospital. Now, we're mm -hmm. the unpaid part mm -hmm. of the workforce, mm -hmm. but we pretty much uh, fall right in line with uh Shirley, with how many years have you been volunteering? I've been volunteering almost 13. Mm -hmm. um, I moved to Blue Ridge when I retired mm -hmm. from teaching and principaling mm -hmm. Wow! Uh, mm -hmm. and knew I couldn't volunteer in a school. No, no. Been, been there, done that, had enough of that crap. Uh, <laughs> about five minutes and they would have been asking me to leave yeah. when yeah. I tried to tell them a better way to do things. Yeah, I know somebody like so, that. <laughs> so I thought, well, let me go. Let me do something that's not school related. Yeah. And my mother had actually been one of the Mm -hmm. the members of the auxiliary. Can we talk a little started. bit about your mama and her relationship with Hans Rayford? Oh, 
Loved him to death. He My loved her to death. Yes. Loved, loved Hans. And he referred to her as his surrogate grandmother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I figured I must have been his surrogate aunt. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. But when Mama passed away, he put up a little message on his blog, blog and referred to Mama as having contagious joy. That's awesome. Is Isn't that, that awesome? a beautiful yes. phrase? Isn't uh -huh. that awesome? Yeah. How precious. What a compliment. Joy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she was a volunteer there too? For uh, the first few years when mm -hmm. the hospital first opened mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then she started babysitting grandchildren uh -huh. and had yep. to give it up. Yep. Uh, but, but she was one of the first. Wow. And, uh, and so I always planned to move to Blue Ridge and, mm -hmm. and follow in her footsteps. So. <coughs> now we're not going to discuss age, but how long will you want to work and how long will you want to volunteer? Probably until somebody tells me I can't do that anymore. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, it's just like with, with Sarah that we talked about mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. um, as long as I can get there and as long as I can still contribute, mm -hmm. I plan mm -hmm. to be there. Right. Uh, that'll have to run me off. <laughs> I love that. I love that attitude. I love it. Now, Susan, you go to the mart and, yes. and you shop and you buy things. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that we could encourage local businesses maybe who make things or have things to meet with you and offer some of those products? Uh, well, we have uh, sales. Uh, occasionally at the hospital, uh, what do we call well, those, where, Shirley? Where, <coughs> where vendors come in right. to mm -hmm. sell things yeah. and give yeah. us a That's percentage. That's a great idea. Yeah. And it, yes. that way people um, get to know the local products. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that's, that's the main outlet. We've talked about putting uh, handmade items in the mm -hmm. gift shop, but being strictly a volunteer group, mm -hmm. uh, we, we have some problems taking the responsibility right. for some yeah. of that. Yeah, I understand. So. And handmade items, you know you're going to pay more because it is made in the USA. It, mm -hmm. it is much more timely than something that is coming off of an assembly line where they paid them people a dollar a day and a bowl of rice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes a big difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But it would be cool if somebody, I, I was thinking about Chris who does pottery, and she made a beautiful Heart of the Home logo ornament for me. And I wouldn't take a nice. million dollars for it. I love it. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's handmade in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and, and it has my logo on it. And it's just really, really special. Right. So, you know, something like that, maybe a Bannon Regional Christmas ornament. That would be really cool. That would be. Yes, definitely. it would. Yeah, mm -hmm. That would be cool. And especially if it was done in pink, since my Christmas tree was pink, <laughs> pink. this year. Ah. Yeah. Oh, and that's another thing we do is decorate the lobby. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and our tree, our tree now. Was, mm -hmm. was pink. Mm -hmm. We, have Very, our we pink had the tree. most compliments mm -hmm. over the tree. Yep. That they love yep. the pink tree. Well, do you remember the memory tree that my Angela did? Do you remember mm -hmm. seeing that? Okay. I took the, all the items of her memory tree and created myself a tree. And, and it, uh, I added a pink beaded purse from the 1920s and mm -hmm. I added some pink crystal chandelier pieces and just, oh, it was just, it was elegant. Mm -hmm. And it had that pink, you know, yeah. and it just so sweet, so sweet. So yeah, it's all about everything that we're talking about today, the people who've moved in, the memories of you being in the ER with them, that'll go mm -hmm. with them forever. Mm -hmm. We're creating memories with new folks, with old folks, yes. and your kindness will be one mm -hmm. of those things they remember. Exactly. Um, just yesterday, and I was reminded before the music, um, I was taking a, a gentleman down, he had a, a patient in ICU, and didn't know where to go or the mm -hmm. procedure to see if he could go in. So I was walking him down there and he was wearing a Vietnam veteran cap. So, you know, I thanked mm -hmm. him for his service and said, I know we're a lot of years late mm -hmm. on that, mm -hmm. but thank you. And he said, my mother had four sons and all four of us were in the military at wow. the same time. Oh my gosh. His mother had to have yes. had nerves of steel. Yes. And and speaking of the veterans, this year we did bring back the, the veterans 
we had a picnic mm -hmm. where we were able to have it outside and invited all the veterans and they thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, we, yeah, yeah. There was a, 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 it wasn't a sign, it was a wooden that they signed mm -hmm. in what branches service and we gave away some uh, door prizes and it means so much mm -hmm. you know to them and it also means mm -hmm. a lot to us oh. that they serve that yeah. time to yeah. protect and our freedom we can't do enough to thank no, them enough we, we sure can't cannot. do it yeah we cannot. yeah absolutely uh, no, that's why it's so important to me i've had the flags on the set mm -hmm. from the time i was over there I just, it was always important to me. And, and mm -hmm. we have the flag behind yes. me where Dwight's daddy served. And, and that was a big deal. You know, mm -hmm. he walked seven miles to town to get on a bus to and join go. the military. Yes. You think about that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Who today is going to walk seven miles to go join the military to go to war? Are to you kidding me? Anything. Yeah, yeah, to do anything. Yeah, to do anything. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's like, hey, I can't come in today. I ain't got no way. Yeah. <laughs> really? You, 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 don't have you don't have a mile from but, town. Yeah, we're, you know, we are forever grateful to the to the veterans mm -hmm. and so that's mm -hmm. just a, a one small way that we were able to honor them absolutely and, uh, and the, the pink ladies the auxiliary mm -hmm. <coughs> we help with those yes. kinds of yes. events yes they're very uh, uh, cutting and serving cake is one of our mm -hmm. our main mm -hmm. services in mm -hmm. those kind of events mm -hmm. and then uh, I handle the door prize yeah. sign up mm -hmm. and all. So, what if somebody wants to make a donation to the Pink Ladies? Is it tax deductible? Yes, if it goes directly into our scholarship okay. fund. Okay. So there's mm -hmm. somebody sitting at home who would love to make a difference, mm -hmm. and I'm and thinking about do, two yeah. people who love scholarships, and mm -hmm. they created a scholarship in memory of their young son. Oh. And yes. I'm thinking, when tax time comes around, wouldn't you rather give it to something like this that's going to benefit the education of a child or to the government? Well, I think mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I know. Yes. I yeah. didn't mention, but our, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to lose it. Our scholarships go to to people studying in, in a the, medical field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we give one at the high school mm -hmm. to to someone who plans mm -hmm. to be in, in a medical mm -hmm. field. But our, our main scholarships go to uh, people that are, that are studying in oh, the medical yeah. field, mm -hmm. local, local folks that mm -hmm. we then hope will mm -hmm. come back, back to our and, community. And speaking of that, we uh, have one <laughs> young lady, I know. Uh, she's coming back. She's uh, her white coat ceremony is this weekend, mm -hmm. and so she will be back in the area. Uh, she's a PA, Isn't physician that awesome? assistant. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. You know, it just makes you feel good to know that the organization helped, helped mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. with her experiences and yeah. that she's mm -hmm. coming coming back home. Right. So right. We're tickled to death. Yeah, yeah. And it is when you think about um, is medical school about eight years? Depends on the the field of study and on that. Well, if it's but like it everything else, with the more. cost of the yeah. cost oh. is probably mm -hmm. twice what it used to be. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of cost, have y'all noticed that the cost of living has gone up a whole lot? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. take long to uh, <laughs> yeah. see that. Yeah. Nice. Three thirty nine for gas today, and I'm going. Oh, I got a quarter mm -hmm. of a tank. What am I going? You know, yeah, yeah. It yeah. went down for a little while, but mm -hmm. boy, it's mm -hmm. coming right back. My sister takes pictures of things in the grocery store and sends to me mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. Can you believe? To depress that? you? <laughs> she wanted to depress you? <laughs> What's wrong with your sister? I don't want to see those prices. <laughs> She's really upset at the price of ice cream. Oh yeah. Well, more than that, y'all think about it. A, a can of corned beef hash was eighty-nine cents not too many years ago. Actually, when I worked in Murphy, North Carolina, a can of corned beef mm -hmm. hash was eighty-nine cents. Today, it is $2.69. Now, I, sorry, that is absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's still a bite of meat and a bunch of taters thrown in a can. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing more. And it went from 89 cents to 269. I, I literally, I set it back on the shelf the other day and I said, no, I'll wait till mm -hmm. you're on sale, you bad boy. <laughs> You're it's not crazy. that good. No, no, that two bites of meat and that 12 taters in there. It's crazy. But families are struggling. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, families are yes. struggling. 
And, and coming to a local hospital, number one, it's going to save them gas because Correct. they don't have to drive mm -hmm. down the road. What about, are there enough doctors there to see, in a, like I go to an allergist and mm -hmm. I have, and I got to say, Dr. Garner is amazing, but she's like three months in or five months into me being really, really sick. They said after a bunch of lab panels, we've got to get you to an allergist. Mm -hmm. What kind of doctors are available there now? What local well, practitioners? Uh, what? We have some specialty doctors that come up to Riverstone. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got ENT, mm -hmm. uh, allergist, uh, uh, different ones, you know, they rotate coming up, but, you know, our, uh, we have uh, the uh, general surgeons, the, mm -hmm. the general physicians, internists, but they are always at the, mm -hmm. you know, Available. Yes. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and one of the newer things that we're offering is cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. We had uh, it so happy I can see today because oh, yes. I couldn't see squat. <laughs> I didn't know it. Probably. Oh, it's yeah. so weird, John. <clears throat> so weird to, to it's go. Like, Ooh. To oh my gosh. To see. <laughs> There's a pattern on that wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's crazy. And cataract is one of those. It's so easy to get it done. But if you have to drive, I had to drive mm -hmm. a long way to get mine done. I had okay. to go to Calhoun, I think. You don't have to do that today. How cool um, is that? Yes, we have a um, ophthalmologist located in Blue Ridge. He comes every other Wednesday and does cataract. We always say we didn't know there were so many eyes in the area. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so, uh, and then that happens every week. We have another provider that comes in to the hospital. And uh, so that's wonderful because yeah. like you said, you don't want to have to drive away when mm -hmm. you can get the quality of care mm -hmm. at home at home, at home. Mm -hmm. and not spend 339 on a gallon of gas to get yes. somewhere yeah mm -hmm. yeah saving money and, and, and time all day I mm -hmm. started to mm -hmm. say to yes. go yeah. to one of the yeah. yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely so that's that's uh, I, I'm sort of attached to that I work in the waiting area mm -hmm. on those eye surgery days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, I bet so. you've met a lot of people. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it crazy? As I say, everybody has two eyes, so <laughs> most of them are mm -hmm. going to come twice. Mm -hmm. And then mothers and teachers have that extra set uh -huh. in, in the, the back, back of their, of their head. head. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah. we'll never finish with, yeah, the, yeah, with yeah, eye yeah. surgery. Yeah. Have y'all had cataract surgery? I know you're too I young have. to have. I have. It, it really is amazing it to come is. back and you're like, Wow, <laughs> I can see. It is so strange. Oh, my pattern on the wallpaper was yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I was like, I, I, I didn't know there was yeah. the little diamond yeah, yeah. pattern. Now, one of the things we haven't even hit on, and, and so, so very important, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, yes. and y'all mm -hmm. have a mammogram party. We had the first one uh, post-COVID, well not really post-COVID, but since COVID came, mm -hmm. we had it in, in October, the mm -hmm. uh, auxiliary, they were a hostess of it, and uh, we had a great turnout, and I know you mentioned the other night, it's past it's due. It's past due, yes, yes. So. darn it. <laughs> As a breast cancer survivor I know. myself. I know. I know. My Aunt Betty had you. breast cancer, had one chemo treatment and passed away. One chemo treatment. So I know how important it is and I got to get back in yes. there. It's just, guys, if you've ever imagined a machine. <laughs> but it's not as bad as it used to be. It's not as bad as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is so very, very important. Yes. Now, yes. how do they schedule appointments? Well, uh, need to get an order from their uh, Regular provider. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then just they will call and schedule the appointment and our ladies are fantastic. Mm -hmm. We always get, uh, you know, feedback from how wonderful they are mm -hmm. and how they make sometimes not the not so comfortable situation right. better. They, yeah. They've really worked at making yeah. it mm -hmm. um, as easy and as comfortable mm -hmm. as possible. You know, comfortable. I wish a man would design a machine that would make it really comfortable. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> and let him take credit for it. We don't care. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back to some music because I know I'm hearing from y'all and you're like, oh, where's Mr. Ella J? Well, he's in the studio and I can't help it. There's nothing I can do to change his attitude. Music <laughs> is first and foremost with that man. So here we go. We're going to go to a little music by him and then we'll be right back. Traveling down a lonely highway, I knew not where the road would end. Not a penny in my pocket, all along the 
for you Dwight Sanford, Mr. L.J. addicts out there. I just fixed you. <laughs> you had a fix, the Dwight Sanford. So we are also going to go back to an old heart of the home. I love that we have all this stuff from the past because you're from the past, you're from the past, I'm from the past, and there's good stuff about all of us. Yes. When we look back to the past, there's so many great memories. And I think about when Heart of the Home started here, it was a four minute segment. And I did it that way for about a year. And I kept saying, I want a 30 minute show. I want a 30 minute show. I want a 30 minute show. And nobody would give in and do it. And I said, well, heck with this. I went to Atlanta, got a producer and did it myself. And it turned into something amazing because then we went to WATC in Atlanta. We went to WGGS in Greenville and simple Southern scrumptious recipes. Yes. And that's what we still do. And um, I sold out of cookbooks a long time ago. I am working on a book and a cookbook at the same time. And I'm doing the same recipes over, but I'm adding a little kick at where that recipe came from and just a little mm -hmm. bit of personal stuff. Because people always say, well, you know, who? how did you know to do that? Well, I practice and play with it. You know, recipes are only a beginning. And so we're going to go now, and I don't know where this recipe came from, but a lot of the recipes I use, our viewers sent to me. And there's so many of them that I tried, and I was like, wow, I didn't see that coming. One that a lady sent to me was, um, I think, I can't remember where she was from, but it was Chicken Atherton. And I tried it, and I was the only person who liked it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> she said, I serve it every Sunday. My family loves it. And I thought, oops. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, but I did love it, and it uses French dressing, uh, Lipton onion soup, and chicken, and I loved it. It was fantastic. Nobody mm -hmm. in my house liked it, so, so you couldn't didn't help make it, it again. Yeah, didn't make it again. <laughs> but but a recipe truly is a beginning. So if you have some great recipes you haven't tried now, on a cold day, it is the perfect time to get in the kitchen and whip something out. And you can see from what we did on these four minute segments. It was crazy because to do, to produce, to make, to have it done, took us about two and a half hours to do four minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so when y'all thought, oh, she just whipped that up. No. no. <laughs> she did not just whip that up. There was prep work. There was Mama Lucy in the kitchen. There was Angela in the kitchen. There was Kathy going to shop for me while I was on the air doing the morning show. And do you remember when the morning show was two hours? Mm -hmm. and, yes. and we, you know, it was like, like this. And it was just crazy because the two hours would be gone in no time. And, and we just, you know, that's the way it was. But it's so funny because it has to be, in my lifestyle today, simple, southern, and scrumptious still fits the bill. Got to fit the bill. Don't want a bunch of elaborate stuff. Don't want to have to go shop somewhere crazy to find food to cook. Keep it simple. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. Keep it simple. <laughs> keep it simple and add a little southern kick to it. So here we go. I don't know what recipe you're going to get to see today, but you're going to get to see a mini Heart of the Home as it started here 17 years ago. Are you kidding me? Here we go. 
Harris Farm, where we have been serving up uh, wonderful homemade dishes since 1860. Now, I haven't been around since 1860, but I have been around for quite a few years. And today, I would love to welcome my cousin, Von Seal Moser, Hi. who has been making wonderful coconut cakes for our family for many, many years. Today, we're going to share our Grandma Dobbs recipe with you, which is a homemade cake with these ingredients. And today we're going to share Von Seal's secret recipe, which happens to be very simple and is a great way for today's busy homemaker to make a wonderful dish that she could give as a gift or um, take to a birthday party. And her secret is frozen coconut, the same secret that Grandma Dobbs used. So we would love to share this cake with you. And now I'd like for my guest, Von Seal Moser, to explain her wonderful cake recipe to you. Simple, wonderful, and everyone will love it. Thank you, Sherry. I just make it by the box recipe on the back and cook it. I'll take a serrated knife, slice it lengthwise, make four layers instead of two, and then the frosting is 12 ounces of Cool Whip, 12 ounces of coconut, 8 ounces of sour cream, and a cup and a half of sugar. Okay, the ingredients for our super fast, great, great cake are one box of white cake mix, Cook according to the directions on the box. Simple, simple. Your frosting, the secret to this recipe. 16 ounces of Cool Whip thawed. 16 ounces of frozen coconut. Remember, only use frozen coconut. Eight ounces of sour cream and one and a half cup of sugar. Now the secret to this is mix the sour cream, mix the sugar and mix the Cool Whip. But mix it for about five minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved and completely smooth. Um, and then you layer the coconut in with the frosting and there's your end result. And I promise you, you can, you can take it to your mother-in-law and she will not know <laughs> that you didn't work all day long to make this cake. Granny's recipe was wonderful, but this one, easy, simple, and in half the time with half the ingredients. And we'd love for you to share the cake with us now. The best part of this show is sharing this wonderful cake with our friends, and we are going to slice and celebrate. This cake really brings a reason to celebrate. Bring in your friends, bring in your neighbors, and watch them smile. Now, you see the four layers? This is a very simple, simple way to make lots of folks happy. I think it's time for me to sample this cake. What do y'all think? Mm -mm. Wonderful, as always. Absolutely wonderful light and fresh, and nobody knows it's not homemade. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Ansley, Victoria, Ruth, Taylor, my granddaughter is home from college. Great to have you here. Thanks. We're gonna make homemade cookies for Santa, a recipe that I have gotten as a gift many Christmases from my friend Miss Olga Burgess in Albertville, Alabama, but I've never made them. And you're, you're game, so we're going to make them, right? Why not? We're going to make them. Tori, tell me the ingredients. We're going to use two sticks of margarine, three-fourths a cup of sugar, a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> half a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and three-fourths cups plain flour, and a cup of pecans. Sounds good. Tori, let's put these cookies together. Let's do it. Okay, we have two sticks of butter that we're going to cream with our sugar. Okay, Tori, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. We have softened, actually this is margarine, and everybody who knows my cooking knows I don't use margarine, but tonight we're using margarine. Okay, Tori, tell me what we do next. We have creamed the sugar and butter. All right, so if you've creamed the margarine and the sugar together, now you're going to add the salt and vanilla and then slowly add the flour as you mix it up together. Right. And then the vinegar and the baking soda, we had to mix together half a teaspoon of each. Right. Set it aside for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it does... I think it becomes a new compound that helps the cookies stay together. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. I think it makes them the crunchy little crispy taste they have. So um, we're going to add our vanilla. That's... A teaspoon, right? <laughs> Looks like it to me. In this kitchen it is. And salt. We're going to add our salt. And Do you want to be mixing it? I'm going to be mixing it, yes. And we're going to slowly add the flour, just a little bit at a time. Now 
we've got to scrape the baking soda in there. Scrape it right in the middle. We're going to scoop this into a bowl and refrigerate it for a little while. Let it chill. And we're going to be working on one of our family's favorite things. What is that, Jory? Krispy Kreme Christmas trees. Krispy Kreme. And when you see the hot sign, you know our car pulls up. Tori, is that tree beautiful? It is adorable. Now, honestly, today, when I walked in with three dozen donuts, did you think I'd lost my mind? No, I thought you were the greatest grandmother <laughs> to grace this planet. <laughs> and you took some decorating tubes, mm -hmm. and you created, has the hot sign and all. What does yeah. it say? It says hot donuts right now. Hot donuts right now. And we know that sign, don't we? Oh, it translates to pull in, pull in. <laughs> it does, it does. And now <laughs> Anthony is waiting to taste this. And I think that's going to be a good dessert, don't you? I think we can let her dive into it. I think we can think do that. So. I think we can do it's that. It's about time we broke her in. It's time. It's time. She's another generation coming along. Yep. Tori, I think our dough is chilled. Oh, I'm so excited about making these. Okay, Tori, we're going to add our pecans. We have a cup of pecans that we're adding to our mixture, and we're going to roll this in small balls. Now, Nanny, for people that don't like pecans, why are they not optional in this recipe? Well, you can do it without it, but we, um, my sister-in-law tried it without pecans because one of her family members didn't like them, and she said it just needed that kick. But, you know, if you don't like nuts or if you can't eat nuts, by all means, try it. Now, we are going to roll these into small balls quickly before the dough gets warm. And I promise you, these will melt in your mouth. If they're as good as Miss Olga's, I think I hear Santa. Are those sleigh bells? <gasps> I sure we better hope so. hurry. Oh, we better hurry. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll be so impressed. Okay, let's stick these. You stick right. these in the oven. And remember, the oven's on 325. And we use a convection oven. Wow, Tori, they smell great. Fresh out of the oven. They're warm. And if we hurry, I think I heard some sleigh bells. <gasps> I hear sleigh bells. Tori, hurry, take them in there and let's get ready. Santa's gonna be coming down the chimney. And we wanna pretend we're asleep. Ho, ho, ho! Whoever made these cookies will be getting a lot of presents for Christmas. <laughs> From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Oh, I love that. I love those cookies. God, I love those cookies. Gotta stay away from those cookies. But if you want a fun recipe to do with your grandkids, those cookies are fantastic. And that's Granny Olga Burgess from um, Albertville, Alabama, the sweetest, kindest woman. I never showed up at her house that she didn't say, <laughs> Ray, help Sherry load her cookies. <laughs> She'd always <laughs> give me cookies. Oh my gosh. Amazing. What sweet memories today. So what mm -hmm. sweet memories. We've gone down memory lane and, you know, um, been together a long, long time and so many things have happened in our mm -hmm. community. So many people have left us, sadly. COVID being a big mm -hmm. part of that. But then new people are coming in and I think it's important to let them know about Fannin Regional. Yes. And what it offers, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're an excellent small hospital. Uh, we don't do everything. We don't do uh, heart transplants, mm -hmm. heart surgery. But what we do do, we do well. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want everyone to know, uh, that, that our services are available. Mm -hmm. And uh, they need to, uh, <coughs> you know, instead of driving out of town like we were talking about, earlier at gas 339 <laughs> yes yeah. uh, you know yeah. you can have tests done at the hospital because the older people get the less they want to drive out of town if the services are available in our right. community right and if you're young enough to be a pink lady and young enough is anything under 96 right yeah yes. yeah yep. anything under 96 under. then tell uh, them again uh, they can come by and get to know y'all at the hospital yes um as a matter of fact <clears throat> they'd, they'd could come in and sit with one of the pink ladies for an hour or so just to sort of see what goes mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. And um, when when we have someone at the front desk, they have applications that they could give out or 
anybody can call Susan. Yes, and mm -hmm. I'd be glad to mail them an mm -hmm. application. Mm -hmm. And tell them your phone number again. 706-632-4143. Uh, Susan Kiker. Yes. And she's one of my bleach blonde buddies. Yes. <laughs> we got I'm the only brunette around. Everybody yes. else. And I had silver hair till viewers started writing in. Mm -hmm. And they said, you need some low lights. And I said, really? And I kept <laughs> a list of everybody sending me messages. And I said, really? <laughs> and then I walked in and said, Leah, guess what happened last night after COVID? I had this black streak that came back in my hair. And I mm -hmm. walked in and the beautician goes, what, what? is going on? Uh -huh. I said, uh -huh. I don't know. It is weird, weird, weird. Because the back was still black, but the front was all white. It was crazy. And she kept looking at my hair and she said, COVID has done a number on so many people's mm -hmm. hair. So many people, the texture of their hair, the, the texture, colors, the, everything. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. It's weird. That is a weird booger that they sent to us. We yes. don't like it. We don't like COVID. And we'll be glad when when everything Gone away. can mm -hmm. be back yes. to normal. Yeah. Wouldn't yes. it be great to be back to normal? So it thank you for be. bringing these goodies. I well, love them. Thank these. you. Yes. I love this scarf. That is so cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And what is that little bag? This is a oh, little yeah. uh, bag. This is from the gift shop. Yeah, uh -huh. that you, you know, when you don't want to carry a heavy bag, you're mm -hmm. like, they were very popular down at the Mart. Uh -huh. uh, you know, if you're on vacation, you just don't want to. If you're going uh, to Disney World and you don't to want to Disney, be Disney, you just yeah, need yeah. A, a few items. And there's different uh, sections mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. even in the back. Put your cell phone in, which is yes. cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is and so it cool. very it's close <coughs> enough to the body mm -hmm. that your arm can actually rest over mm -hmm. the purse and mm -hmm. that way nobody's going to gonna get your purse right. sneak up beside yeah. you and I think we need to, need to name it going to Atlanta purse <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> you know, if you're going to Atlanta you need one of keep these. it <laughs> yeah wrapped around speaking you. of going to Atlanta when's the last time you were at the varsity mm, oh. a, a long long time, long time ago mine wouldn't be pre-covid yes, uh, about yes, a year yes, yes. and, and been, let's get back to living life normal Let's yes. just get back to going places we want to mm -hmm. go. How about that? Mm -hmm. Does that work mm -hmm. for y'all? Yes. Sounds good. Works for me. Mm -hmm. Y'all, the weekend is upon us, <clears throat> and I am, I'm back on my meds, still can't breathe, but doing some new meds, and hopefully it's going to help. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just a troubled child. <laughs> I'm just allergic <laughs> to something that's really getting to me, but... I hope to be getting better, and I hope that when spring comes, life changes drastically for all of us. I hope the gloom and doom goes away yes. and everybody starts smiling again. Get out today. There was a little bit of sunshine before I came in the building. Mm -hmm. Who knows what it'll be when I walk out of here. But get out today and do something funny to make somebody laugh. Mm -hmm. I told somebody in the dollar store something the other day, and she cracked up. Well, it was the truth. You just tell it like it is. <laughs> so, you know, get out and enjoy life uh -huh. today. Yes. Enjoy every single moment. And if you are interested in Fannin Regional, go by and get to know these nice ladies. I'll see you again next week right here at ETC where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet.